Alright, so, Cyberpunk Tokyo, like my boast about these UA-10s I have, here they are. I do have two of them. This one's called Hachikoma, and that's K2SO. It's more of a parts machine, but it works, so it has a name. Uh, the... U810 has a very small keyboard uh, and uh, both a touch screen and a, a little stick mouse. It's kind of like the uh, IBM track points, but it's kind of square and bigger and not in the keyboard. And uh, these are the mouse buttons over here. So you can. Uh, use it like that. Ta-da! Uh, almost everything on this works natively in Linux. Uh, the exception is the webcam. It's a Rico. And there is a module for it, but it always will require closed source firmware that Rico is not licensing, so it will never be in the main kernel. And dealing with a modern uh, kernel, I'm running uh, Ubuntu 18, so this is a 4. something kernel, it is not going to uh, work out of the box. It needs some uh, help. So, aside from that, the fingerprint scanner, uh, compact flash slot here, it shows up as uh, PCMCAA slot. That works. Uh, USB port. Uh, SD card slot. Uh, that's a volume up and down switch. Uh, mic, headphones. Uh, hardware switch for the Wi Fi that doesn't actually seem to switch anything on or off. Uh, so, that and the web camera, the only things that really don't work. Um, power and because it does do the touch screen thing it transforms into tablet mode um, that's uh, launch app one launch app two and rotate um, they do it doesn't actually do anything I haven't configured that but if you uh, launch XEV you do see the events um, so that's uh, arrow up and down, and the function key, like half the keyboards on function keys. There's another function key down here. So I can press function with my right hand or with my left hand and do a function function. Um, the only thing that really annoys me about this keyboard, do you see what's missing? No page up or page down. There's, it's just gone. There's print screen. You ever use Princess RQ? You ever use that for anything? But no page up and page down. Two, uh, two separate arrow up and arrow downs. This, this is actually uh, key press. Up and down. Up and down. Uh, only other oddity is uh, that's the left alt. And uh, this is an alt button. It's also the left alt. There's no right alt. Not that I think that ever actually matters. Um, there's a SD slot here. You can... It works all right. And... Uh, one of the neat things about the compact flash slot here, uh, of course, you can put just a data disk in it, right? But it is a CF slot, so if you have an actual compact flash device, boom. Now you can do dial up. Isn't that amazing? The one other interesting thing here. Accessory. This is a dongle. It has video, 
and Ethernet. Nothing else. Kind of looks neat there. We did too. So, uh, yeah, guess where this plugs in? Yep, yeah, right there. Right in the middle of the keyboard. That's not in the way of anything. But other than that, it is a tight little machine. It uses these tiny little hard drives. That is not your standard laptop hard drive. The most evident way of seeing that is that connector there. That is a ribbon zero insertion, zero insertion force connector and this is smaller than your average laptop hard drive. Here they are side by side. So this is the spinning disk out of Tachikoma here. Uh, one of the first things I did was got a flash drive and swapped them out. 128 gig flash drive in this uh, now. So that's one of the quickest ways you can get a little extra performance out of an old machine. I have a PowerBook 540C with a flash drive in it and a G3. So it this is from 2007, so it's not going to be doing things amazingly fast, but it will uh, do some YouTube videos. Not flawlessly, but uh, you want to pick your uh, browser. Uh, this is Midori. Uh, that and Falcon seem to... Uh, be the best performance on these old uh, systems here. But you can see how long it takes. It, it, it does have Wi-Fi, uh, but it still, it, it takes a little while to load. And... That's not quite up to full screen. Oh, an ad, yay. Yeah, skip that ad. Come on. Each week, we follow the boss of a major organization as they so. go undercover to find out what's really going on. It's not the best, but company. I mean, this what do you expect from 2007 boss, hardware? Star base. So, uh. If you just use uh, M Player doesn't do too bad yeah, full screen there oh, not perfect but uh, you know not the worst yeah it, it is gonna complain that hey this is slow <clears throat> but uh, it is definitely fast enough to do uh, NES and Super NES, which is what I use it for if I'm not just using it as an SSH terminal. So, uh, yeah, there you go. Nice uh, kind of cyberpunk, retro-futuristic vibes there. <laughs>